Hello, my name is Jason, currently a year three MBBS student at Hong Kong U Medical School. And today I've got some very exciting news changes to the platform for SpeechOn. So SpeechOn is an AI powered speech therapy platform primarily targeted for post-stroke aphasic patients. So patients who wouldn't be able to sort of speak well because of their chronic stroke condition. So in our platform, we have a web portal, which is here right now, as well as our mobile app. And our mobile app allows patients to do semantic feature analysis therapy at the palm of their hand anytime and anywhere. So most of them would identify an item. So in the app, you would be able to uh, see a lot of different types of items. And the patient has to have 20 seconds to speak out what the item is in currently in Cantonese and we have automatic speech recognition as well as an AI model to detect how well if they spoke it correctly as well as we give them personalized positive or constructive feedback based on how well they've spoken it. And we use sort of um, the uh, semantic analysis therapy here as well as a space, a space repetition algorithm to schedule when the car should be shown in the future and when should it be shown repetitively to allow long-term memory retention and long-term recovery from primarily uh, Broca's aphasia. So today uh, we got some really exciting news uh, besides from last week where we've sort of launched uh, our iOS app. Uh, we can now also sort of see here with our iOS app, you can also see that uh, the web portal has been significantly updated to allow for tailored therapy to each specific patient. So after working with the patients as well as the speech therapist, uh, we've noticed that uh, patients actually have different levels of uh, difficulty speaking with different categories of items. So this is after we've done the diagnosis, done standardized gold standard tests, such as the aphasia battery test, as well as the 300 item probe test, where we sort of identify what type of items, for example. Some patients might find it harder to identify, for example, food items compared to other patients might uh, find it hard to, for example, identify like traffic or identify like, for example, common public transport items. So it's really important to have tailored approaches to each specific patient. So now uh, every single speech therapist or the rehab team or the doctors could actually sort of uh, allow which items could be assigned to each specific patient and user. And we could also sort of track every single patient's uh, progress and how well for every single item on how well they did. So if you're a speech therapist, doctor or the rehab team, you could sign in on the web portal. And on the web portal, we have the standard dashboard of all the items in our database. And they could also, you could also add your own item here and add your own hint. So the hint will be played 10 seconds into every single item uh, out of every 20 second interval where the patients will be given 20 seconds to answer the item with uh, continuous speech recognition. 10 seconds in, the system would speak out the hint here. So this will be the category, will be the hint and the image file here. So the new tab here that we have is in the database. So this here is all um, demo data. So all these users are actually myself as well, some fake data. Now with here, where well, you can see that every single user, so this is me actually, uh, has their own identifier email so that the, uh, the one doing the therapy or monitoring the, the patient could actually see who it is what item it is, what the hints, right? So there's a hint, it's a, it's a type of dim sum in Cantonese and the easiness factor. So the easiness factor is sort of how hard or easy the card is to that particular patient. Repetition, how many times that the patient actually did it. And the interval is a variable used in the space repetition algorithm to determine when the card should be shown next and when the actual card will be shown next to the due date and the last review date. And what's cool is that I can now filter by specific uh, users. So only me have done a user, but you could also filter by all users, specific users, as well as search for users here in the dashboard now. And to assign specific types of items to specific patients, we now have the add items table. 
And here you could select uh, specific users or patients or even select multiple patients to assign those items to. So let's say um, we have John Chan here with no items. So on their phone, on their app, actually on the main screen, they won't be showing sort of any items to review. So in order for them to have items to review, you could manually add them on their app or on the web portal now, we could assign specific items. So let's say we assign John Chan um, these common types of items as well as some dim sum, and then just press add selected items and boom, there it is. These items have been assigned to John Chan and he uh, can review it on the phone anytime, anywhere with a space repetition algorithm so that every day it op he opens the app, it'll tell them how many of these seven items to review to brush up his memory. And yeah, so this is the bulk majority of updates for SpeechOn. We really hope SpeechOn could help revolutionize and treat aphasic patients around the entire world. And we're starting with the Hong Kong local population with Cantonese. So if you're based in Hong Kong and you're very interested in, in our project, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is here in the website. And yep, that's it for me today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.